Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Artinik and this is my vlog. So today I want to discuss this article I wrote in Medium on December 16th about regarding um, why I stopped buying um, Chanel bags and um, why I started investing in Bitcoin. And so in the article I discussed, um, I'm going to link it below. Um, Please, folks, this is for entertainment purposes. I am not a financial advisor. I'm not a tax expert, and I am not um, an attorney. So please, this is for entertainment purposes. Do your own research. So in the article, I talked about how um, um, for years I collected Chanel bags, and I probably spent like over $15,000 on Chanel bags, which is really crazy. Um, and I even did it overseas where it's cheaper and you get that back and I started to think you know what if I had taken that money and instead Invested it in Bitcoin. So I wrote an entire article about that and I did it like around December 16 or 18 like I said be before I'm gonna link it below and um I talked about uh, my most expensive Chanel bag, which is this one that I have for the video, which is my um, jumbo flap that um, I bought in Paris in 2017 and I spent like $4,600 for it all in when I got my VAT back. And this bag today retails, um, when I did the article in December 2020, the bag retails for about $7,100. And then that's before tax, like in New York, tax is like 9% sales tax. So you're paying an incredible amount of money so this bag basically appreciated you could look at it as an investment right you know I paid 4600 today it's 7100 plus tax you know I can put this on a platform like um, trade C um, rebag or um, let's see Poshmark and I can get more than what I paid for it there's no scratches um, you know the bag is in fantastic condition but um, However, if I had put this 4,600 in Bitcoin, I probably could have bought a couple of these bags. And so that's what I'm going to discuss. And um, my last Chanel bag that I bought was um, a wallet on a chain in Madrid in May 2019. And I bought it, yeah, like I said, in Madrid. And I, I probably spent like $1,800 all in with the VAT bag. And that bag today retails for $2,500. So every Chanel bag that I have acquired in the last few years have appreciated and they're still in good condition. So if I put it on one of these platforms, I can probably get more money than what I paid for the bag, right? So there is some appreciation. We could make a case that buying Chanel bags are really investments also. It's not only for our um, the joy that we get from these bags. Um, you know, there's some investment purposes also here. I remember um, barely out of school, my friend bought a Chanel bag in 2007. Um, I couldn't do it. We just graduated, student loans, but she bought a Chanel bag. It was like $2,000 in 2007. And, you know, at the time I thought like, this is insane. I can't afford this. You know, I have student loans. I just got a new job. You know, we're barely out of school. <laughs> um, but that bag by 2016, it was a medium classic Chanel bag by 2016 that bag was like 5,500 retail in the US so it, it really is an investment bag but um I started to think about Bitcoin and S&P 500 indexes and stuff like that and I realized okay let's see I probably spent about 15 grand on Chanel bags over the last years um if I had put that money into an s p you know into bitcoin for instance right if i if i took fifteen thousand that say in may 2017 when i bought the most expensive chanel bag say i had taken fifteen thousand and put it into bitcoin in may 2017 to when i wrote that article in december i think bitcoin had just hit twenty thousand or it was just a little bit underneath i would have had an investment of five hundred and three thousand dollars let's think about that fifteen thousand in may 2017 december 2020 five hundred and three thousand dollars and change i could have bought as many of these as i wanted with that kind of money 
However, if I take that $15,000 and I think about the last time I bought a Chanel bag, which was the last one I bought, that Chanel on the chain in May 2019 in Madrid. So May 2019, if I had taken $15,000, when I wrote that article in December 2020, it would have been worth almost $41,000. That's still great, right? A year and a half later, right? Now today, which I'm doing this recording on March 1st, 2021, which I wrote that article in December 2020, Bitcoin is like $48,000 and change. So you're almost, you're more than double when I did that video in December. So pff, if I had put the 15,000 <laughs> In May 2017, I would have had over a million dollars right now. And I would have been able to buy as many of these Chanel jumbo bags to my heart content. And I bought this bag because I had just gotten promoted and it was like a gift to myself for all my hard work. But man, oh man, if I had um, invested then, it would have been crazy. And even if I had did it the last time, the May 2019, I would, you know, I probably would have close to $100,000 right now with where the Bitcoin price is. So either way, it made me, it made me start to think like, maybe I need to look at this differently. You know, like this, this could be an investment, but Bitcoin, um, even S&P 500 index, I wrote that in the article and I wrote that, you know, if I had put into one of these indexes like Fidelity or Vanguard, um, in May 2017, I would have had a 53% return. And even if I had did it in May 2019, when I bought my last one, I would have had like a 26 something percent return. Um, so either way, you know, um, it would have been fantastic. So yes, we can look at bags as investments, but, um, there's only so much of an appreciation you get from these bags, unless you have these wild exotic Hermes bag. But in the first place to buy one and see it appreciate to, I think I saw some, some article recently about an Hermes bag being 210,000. You have to be like super uber wealthy to have bought the bag in the first place um, for a bag that appreciated to that price. So um, <laughs> it was just something to think about and um, Again, I'm not a tax advice. I'm not a tax advisor. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an attorney. This is just, um, it was just for entertainment purposes and to think about the stuff that you invest in. And I mean, let's get real. Um, even though I can get more money for these bags that I've acquired over the years, um, when it comes to Chanel, I will never sell my Chanel bags because I love them so dearly. And um, I think a lot of the collectors feel the same way. Um, but anyway, thank you for tuning in um, to this video. It was a little, a little different from my um, normal videos, but um, nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.